Coming up on today's episode of Fishing with the Dodger, we fish Crawling Valley in the pouring rain. Dodger Jr. sets his sights on a pair of pontoons, and our fly girl nets some beautiful fish with a tasty lure. Yummy. Yeah! Are you ready? Let's go. Are you ready? Let's go. The Dodger Mobile is pulled into Crawling Valley Campground. It's about an hour and a half southeast of Calgary, Alberta, bordering Travers Reservoir. It's a man-made lake covering over nine square miles and reaching 130 foot depths. Built to help irrigate surrounding farmland, the province stocked the lake with fish in 1985. It's currently a catch and release fishery, which is resulting in some fantastic sizes of pike and walleye. We knew it had to happen sometime this summer. Today is our first truly rainy fishing day. But it's the kind of day fishermen love because common belief says you'll catch more fish on a rainy day. Looks like it's time to test that theory out. Come on, Wink. We're down here in beautiful Crawling Valley with our buddy Marty Anderson from Walleye Chasers, chasing some big walleye and hopefully some sunshine. It's going to be a great show. Marty is breaking in his brand new boat. It's got him pretty excited. This boat is brand new. This is the first lake it's seen. Look at him. He thinks he's taken over the show. Are you ready? Let's go. Exactly. Today, our fishing party consists of guide Ed Frank, Sandra Anderson, Marty's wife, Kelly Anderson, Marty's daughter, Dodger Jr., and of course, Sable the dog. Connor and Kelly decide to bring some youthful enthusiasm to the camera boat. Jump across, go up quick, go up by Marty, he'll, he'll help you over. Welcome aboard. Our camera boat has a canvas cover, making us a wee bit drier. And it has some nifty technology too, such as a remote controlled foot pedal for powering the engine and a fish finder for dark water days like today. Kelly is the first to get a fish on. Look at that girl smile. What do you think it is? It looks like. Ooh, none other than a walleye. Beauty! Awesome. Do you want to hold them? Give them a hold? Of course I do. <laughs> wow, congratulations. First catch of the day. How do you do? Excellent. <laughs> awesome. How did the girl get a fish on so fast? Well, for one thing, she knows how to bait a hook, so it looks tasty. Yummy. Yummy! Ed shows Connor the worm baiting technique. Hey, there you go. Look at that. Wouldn't you eat that? Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> On a DR, maybe? Uh, not really. <laughs> eh, sensible kid. Nevertheless, a fish can't resist Kelly's line. Alrighty, what do you think you got there? Another walleye. Oh, she's got another walleye. And look at its spikes go up. Ooh, this fish knows he's facing a master fisher. Beauty. All right, Kel, do you want to uh, give him a little, a little snuggle? Nope. You do that to yourself. <laughs> this girl doesn't take any guff from fish. She is a fly girl, after all. So far, we've only been on the water 10 minutes, and Kelly has caught two walleye. She's a real fishing machine. So Kelly, okay. what is your secret? Um, I just know how to bait my hook well enough, present it to the fish, catch my fish. Kelly's been hooked on fishing for a while now. So about 10 years ago, my dad took me to Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, uh, to a lake called Lake Manitouic. 
and he taught me how to fish there, and ever since I started fishing there, I've loved fishing. Kelly not only loves fishing as a hobby, she's hoping to one day take part in the family business. Well, yeah, actually, I was hoping like I could guide for my dad one day so I could teach people everything I know about fishing, like bait the hooks, how to tie them, how to catch fish. And dad's all for it. It's great that uh, women get involved in fishing, and uh, I'd like to see her come out and guide for me uh, one of these days. In fact, Kelly really will be following a tradition of family female fishers. In this boat, I am officially calling Mabel. That's my grandmother. That's uh, the one that taught me how to fish. And uh, she used to bring me out when I was a young boy, so I'm naming this boat Mabel. Looks like Mabel and Kelly are going to form a great team for the Anderson Fly Girl legacy. While Grandma would be proud of Wally's gadget here, a pair of fish grippers that keep the fish free of harm, allowing us to get a good look at them. Yeah, those uh, grippers are the best thing, aren't they? Yeah, you got it. It doesn't hurt the fish at all. Well, and it keeps your hands clear and you're not getting cut up. Oh, let the throw back. Yeah, I know those grippers, Marty's, are, are awesome. Let's actually, let's, uh, let's show that works. The, uh, the thing that's cool about this is most time when we're grabbing fish, you gotta pull the fins back so you don't get cut up. Marty gives it a, a squeeze. It goes right in, locks onto the lip. Go ahead, I'll let you do it just once. Awesome. Okay, let's get in and get another one before Kelly uh, Kelly slams us, eh? Coming up next, Kelly and Mabel go for some walleye action. Look at that, nice fish. And rain? Is it rainy? Oh, who cares? We've got fish on the line. Next. Welcome back to Fishing with the Dodger and our first rainy fishing trip of the season. Kelly Anderson, Dodger Jr. and Ed Frank are on the camera boat pulling in a pile of walleye, while the Dodger and guide Marty Anderson have gone on ahead and are mostly getting wet. But the day is not over. I'm thinking we may just have to get a little closer so we can clip their lines. Ah, what now? Dodger Jr. has a fish on. Okay, do you want to get it off the back? Yeah, we'll take it off the back. Yeah, what? Left or right of the motor? Um, I'll come here and grab it. Uh, all right. Okay, just so you know, I'm not touching any spiny fish today, so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you mean? Connor opts to pet the fish instead. I think the rainy weather's getting to him. Time to deliver a warm dog for some proper pet companionship. There you go, Sable. And Sable's just in time to witness Kelly pull in another fish. Oh, she's got a pike! We have to ram that boat. Well done, well done, my lady. That is a nice pike. <laughs> All right. Okay, I've had enough. I'm bringing Kelly onto our boat. Let's see if the fish will follow. Our guide, Marty, has a theory. Well, they say that when the wind's from the east, the fish bite li the least. So that's what they say. And it is coming from the northeast. Hmm, that may not hold up in court, but, you know, we'll go with it on the water. That is, until the dodger spins into something good. Oh, man, it's big. Kelly, I think it's bigger than yours. Oh, that one just slammed me though, Marty. You just read that structure perfectly. Big Wally, too. Nice job. Look at that. Marty knows and said, we're just going to work this little piece of structure a little bit further. Keep Kelly on the other side of the boat. Keep her away from the fish. And that was the stinger that got him. Yeah, okay. Hook clear. Yeah. Hook is clear. Look at that. Nice fish. Beauty! Congratulations, Dodger! Yes! Skunk is off the Dodger! The skunk is off the Dodger. You gotta love it. Eh? Gotta love it. Oh yeah, Kelly loves it so much that she gets her own fish on the line. Okay, I'm gonna get out of your way, I'll let you on that side of the boat. We'll do a little uh, fire drill here. I know why we're making you the fly girl of the week. You're on fire. He's green. Oh yeah, big Wally. Look at the size of this thing, Marty. Oh, it's huge. Hey, <laughs> Dad doesn't care. Dad's going back in after another fish. Okay. It's not the slickest tool. I guess it protects the fish. You ready? I'm gonna get him right back in. 
Turn to the camera. Good job, girl. Look at that. And the thing I like about these grippers, keeps your hands away from those things. See that? He goes, Dodger. Ding. Can you manage? Of course, she says. Out of my way, Dodger. I know what I'm doing. Good job, girl. else who knows what he's doing is Connor Gellinus, aka Dodger Jr. When the Dodger brings a new toy home, Dodger Jr. has it put together before it even sees water. In this case, the Dodger has a new pontoon boat, or rather, he thinks it's his. My hands are like black from assembling this. Without these pontoons inflated, you'd sink. And if you had the seatbelt on on the front, you'd die because there's a seat belt for that. <laughs> okay. What? Yeah, there's one on the side. Why? So it doesn't rot. It isn't. Okay, maybe it is. <laughs> the Dodger is keeping a wary eye. Connor, you're a wild man. And you aren't? Keep going, dude. I'm going, man. Can we look like I'm pressure up to this? I really appreciate you blowing up my new pontoon boat there, but. You mean because it's mine? Now that's it. Dodger takes evasive action. <laughs> Watch out for the mic sometimes. Okay, now I'm not soaked. Oh, Connie, you're killing me. The edge just popped off. There's just these two little things down here. You just slide out, and then you can slide yourself forward, slide yourself back. Okay, um, th this is really stable. Like, as you can see, I can't rock it. It's rated for um, rapids, and the pontoons, if you look, there's an inner bladder, and then there's an outer one protecting it. After all this work, Dad may think it's his boat, but it's mine. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Coming up, is it better to fish in rainy or sunny weather? Well, you tell us. And uh-oh, does the Dodger lose Kelly's fish? Find out next. Well, folks, the weather is wet, but the fishing is brilliant. We've been out on Crawling Valley in southern Alberta, and we've been pulling in a pile of walleye fish. The biggest fish goes to the Dodger. This walleye put up a great fight and ended up released safe and sound. It was a real win-win situation. Now the crew is ready for some more action. Let's get back in there. After my monstrous walleye, Guide Marty Anderson rigs me up with more of his great lines. The mono just snaps right off, but that braided line is just... It's hard. Anyways, I think the bite is on, Marty. I that we got to. I think we got to put the luck over there to Kelly. The minute she hit this boat, we started hammering. It's awfully quiet for some of these out fishing. Dad and the Dodger. Well, thank you, dude. I know. Focused. She said, "You guys don't catch fish because you talk too much." Maybe Kelly's just putting out a silent siren call for fish because in the very next moment, the Dodger has another fish on the line. Oh yeah, nice big wally. Yeah, good, good size. That's what I love for Crawling Valley, though. Ever since they've uh, tightened the regs up on it, the, uh, the walleye stock has just increased so dramatically. Just tremendous. And there's a good, healthy stock in here because you get the different sizes. Yeah. So. Well, what's the largest you pulled out of here? Largest I pulled out of here was 28 inches. Wow. Nice fish. Nice little fish. There you go. Beautiful. Hello, guest of honor. You're a star. <laughs> I gotta get myself a pair of those grippers. There's my worm from last time. Good job, dude. In the meantime, Kelly gets a sucker on the line. Dodger fish. That's funny. <laughs> but wait, this show isn't over. So we get the gong show. <laughs> the dodger tangles are up. She patiently sits there, Dad. Being the great co-host of the boat. And this is, I still have one, guys. And you know what? She does. It looks big. Yeah. 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 
bite. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Yeah, yeah, it's snag. What did, what did the old uh, dad call her? Did dad say weeds? Oh, he said weeds. I think he said weeds. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's not fun. I gotta get dirty and fall in, right? Getting used to these things there, Marty. Here he goes. Wait a minute, what just happened there? Did the Dodger just lose Kelly's fish? Uh-oh, nothing is worse than the wrath of a fisherwoman scorned. Gone? Yeah. No, he's gone. It was, uh, I clipped him off when I uh, put the uh, lip ripper on. He was big though. Stuck on my worm. He was worm. big. Dodger appeases the fly girl with a visual fish tail. And soon, Marty has a fish on the line, so all is forgotten. And Dodger gets this one in. Yep. Pulls him in on the crankbait. Just barely, too. Look at that. Beautiful. Congratulations, Marty. Finally got one today. You bet. A baby Wally. Often when we're on a new lake, or not unlike today, on a new boat where the GPS is not programmed, we need to find where the fish are hiding. It's spring and the walleyes have just finished their spawn, which means they're all over the lake and not traveling in schools. So when we're hunting walleye, we look for the mid-lake structure and the places where they will hide. It's taken us a bit, but we found one of the many parts of the lake where the depth of the lake has changed from 20 to 30 feet to the mid-lake hump of 7 to 8. Walleye, like many of the fish we chase, are creatures of the edges. As we come into the structure, we make sure we reel in our lines so that when these bad boys hit, we're sure to set the hooks. Every pass today over the shallower water has produced fish. Be ready. When these boys hit, they hit hard and fast. Now that we know where to fish, should we fish? Is it better to fish in rainy or sunny weather? We decided to take this question to the streets, and here's what you said. Uh, probably when it's raining, I think. How okay. come? <laughs> because um, there'll be more water for the fish to go in. I don't know. I think probably raining because uh, that it tends to be darker, and the fish are looking for water or for. Uh, for food and I would say it's probably raining. Uh, when it's sunny. How come? Well, f fishing isn't all about catching fish. It's about enjoying yourself and you enjoy yourself a lot more if it's sunny out. It's actually uh, better to go fishing when it's sunny and cloudy, not necessarily raining because when it's raining, you can't fly fish. The fish, uh, they can't detect the fly. Those were some great answers, and I'd like to think every one of them was exactly right. Coming up, Marty treats us all to a true made in the Alberta wilderness meal. We're going to uh, enjoy a little bit of moose meat this afternoon. For nearly every episode of season two of Fishing with the Dodger, whether it was April, May, or June, we've seen fabulous Alberta weather. Well, Mother Nature's getting back at us. Today is a cold, rainy day at the end of May, but the fishing has been easy. But folks, it's time to head in and get some hot coffee in us. Come on. Well, Marty, that was a riot. I'm soaked to the bone. That's all part of fishing. But that was a riot. How many fish did you get there, Marty? I got the one fish. Did you get one? Yeah. Somebody had to how, many, how many did I knock off today, Marty? Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I, got, you know. I know, I think I knocked off about a dozen there, man. Ah, Dodger, we have proof. It was only the one. And Kelly forgives you. In fact, that's part of her fishing legacy. Her dad, fishing guide Marty Anderson, recalls the very first time our fly girl caught a fish. I uh, sat the fish on my lap 
and uh, it flipped off out of the net, went into the water, and there was a whole bunch of people around us and <laughs> with their boats anchored, and they went, oh, you lost the little girl's fish. So I told her, and she started crying a little bit, and I told her, I says, Kelly, I says, no problem. You'll catch a fish the next time. And she dropped her jig and hooked onto a fish very next uh, minute. Now Kelly's an advanced fisher at the tender age of 17, and, well, you have to wonder, do the boys notice her talents? I mean, she's a fishing expert. Are the guys impressed? Better be. <laughs> Our crew is soaked at this point, so we start a fire and Marty makes sure everybody is well fed. Perfect. Well, today we're going to have uh, hamburgers and uh, we have some minute moose steak. It's a treat to enjoy moose meat. Moose are born and raised in the wild. This isn't cultivated. It's real Canadian nature. Now, the thing is, it's a good thing there's not a lot of trees around here, though. You know why? Because with Eddie wearing that jacket, we'd lose him. Oh, well, there you go. Right? Stands out like a sore thumb out here. After everybody's enjoyed a good lunch, it's time to inspect the gear. And it looks like Marty's brand new boat, Mabel, named after his fishing mentor grandmother, has a scratch. And it's got broken in. We have a scar on the side of it. It gives the boat character. Without a dent or without a scratch on the boat, there's no character to the boat. I guess it makes the boat just like our favorite people in our lives. Thanks for the memories, Marty, Sandy, and Kelly. We won't forget this fishing day for a long time. Got a great fish story or some cool pictures? Drop us a line at dodger at flytheboat.ca. Maybe we'll get you on the show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on Fishing with the Dodger.